Hello fans, it's your king and leader, Beacon of Moral Fortitude, Cody the King of YouTube, coming at you live. If you look uh, back there, you can see uh, one of the paintings I have done, and there's another uh, right above it. A couple of uh, cool paintings to uh, show a beautiful landscape, so whenever I get up and I walk through this room, I look at those two paintings and it instantly puts me in an even more cheerful and uh, peaceful mood than I am normally in. But today, I do not uh, come forward to bring about peace, folks. I do not come forward in a peaceful manner because I have been alerted to something that is very disgusting that uh, just happened. It's hot on the airwaves. It just now... Uh, took place it is with a disgusting youtuber by the name of logan paul who thought it would be funny to go into the japanese uh suicide headquarters uh the forest where people like to go to uh i guess they're playing games and things like that and then they part of the big game is whoever uh I guess whoever wins sort of uh, ends it all in the Japanese suicide headquarter forest. But Logan Paul thought it would be funny to go into that forest and to scavenge over the dead bodies in the forest, uh, probably with a little, I assume he, he, him and his little demented buddies went in there with a walking stick and they were prodding the dead uh the dead bodies of the Japanese and he thought it would be so funny so amusing so, such a great thing to do to make a video of a dead body for his majority child audience <sighs> he thought <sighs> that it would be a good idea to show those kids a dead body and to start laughing uh, and mocking uh, the dead body of a Japanese person. He thought that would be funny. <clears throat> so obviously this made me very, very angry. And it made me start writing letters. It made me start drawing pictures of Logan Paul. I drew a picture of Logan Paul uh, looking very ugly uh, and I th threw his hair on fire uh, because I, I think it would be funny if uh, Logan Paul's hair caught on fire uh, because this is a very nasty demented man who is obsessed with death and decay. His recent uh, attempt to restore his uh, uh, public persona by doing his little fake apology uh, and by abstaining from his little vlogs for a little while. I see right through it, Mr. Paul. You don't fool me. You're a man that is obsessed with death and decay. Only a man obsessed with death and decay would gleefully enter into the official Japanese suicide headquarters and scavenge for dead bodies, uh, take pictures with uh, dead bodies, you would have to be obsessed with death and decay to do sort of thing, to do that sort of thing. And people that are obsessed with death and decay, there's a name for them, folks. They're called necromancers. Uh, the love of death, the love of decay, Logan Paul is headed on a very bad trajectory where he is likely going to at least persuade some of his fans to take a, an uh, obsessive liking of death and decay. And his fans, they're, they're not going to be uh, having fun. They're not going to be playing uh, video games anymore. They're going to seek out, uh, the only way they're going to be able to have fun now, folks, 
is by going to suicide bridges, the Japanese suicide headquarters, and the only way that these kids are going to be able to have fun now is by looking at dead bodies. And that's not a world any of us want to live in. So I'm going to have to keep writing letters. I'm going to have to keep drawing pictures. And I'm going to have to rightfully decrease Logan Paul's influence.